Hey guys, it's Rushji here. How you all doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we are looking at V Trigger One, and it is sort of little things to sort of help you maximise your V Trigger One combo potential, your confirms, your crush counters. It's little things I've found that you may not be aware of. So I'm going to start off in the corner. We look at um, Ken's triple DP combos. So this is off the stand heavy kick crush counter for the most part but you can also get stuff off crouching heavy punch into the triple dp setup so let's start off with stand heavy kick first so you guys are very familiar with this so if you swing with stand heavy kick get a crush counter in the corner and you're in v trigger you get two light punch dps and a heavy punch dp or ex dp <laughs> nothing new at all Pay close attention to the damage, 3, 4, 7. Now, this is something I only found out about, I think in Season 2. And what it is, is when your Dragon Punches hit the opponent, the, the later active frames of the Dragon Punch, it, that or how high they are, one of the two, the less damage your Dragon Punch will do. So you can see there, that's 3, 4, 7. Watch again now closely, if we get the timing right, you have to manually delay the first light punch DP. I'll do nearly 400 damage, just by adding, adding in a very small delay. So watch again. See the damage? 387 now. So again, the reason why that happens is, it's the, it's the very first light punch DP. If I do it instantly, look at the damage. Oops, V trigger. See, that's 160. Uh, you can see the light punch DP did 64 damage there. If I delay it, 200 damage. It does 104 damage, the light punch DP. So um, it's because the light punch DP is hitting with either the opponent higher in the air or during later frames later active frames I, I think it's later active frames of the light punch dp so it's good to be aware of that that if you want to get max damage from that combo you actually got to delay the first light punch dp a little bit but it does make the second light punch dp a little bit more tricky to land that's it so i didn't have to, i didn't delay it too much there but just enough to get the second light punch dp if that's difficult to do, um, well, before I jump to, that, jump to the next stage of the, the video, um, if you're going to spend one bar as well, as I mentioned, the XDP at the end, it gets you 399 damage. If you're looking to spend one bar of EX, but you're finding it difficult to manually time that light punch DP to get more damage, you can do this. Now that does slightly less damage as you can see, but it still does good damage and it's much easier to time I think. It's crouching heavy punch, the X fireball, so it's not a cancel. It's not like that. You actually input in the X fireball after push counter. And you can easily time the light punch DP to hit then to get max damage. Let's try it again. Add a little delay, light punch DP, heavy punch DP. It's not optimal, like I said, because the um, stand heavy kick, light punch DP, light punch DP, EX DP does more damage. But that is another option. If you want to go all out, you can do um, that. This is hard to do. This is why I don't go for this. That's the most you'll get in that situation. Crouching Heavy Punch, Light Punch DP, Light Punch DP, EX DP, but it's hard to manually time the Light Punch DP for it to juggle twice and get max damage. Probably not as hard as it looks actually. So these are all sort of, um, these crush counts I'm showing you are all DP punishes because you're only going to use Crouching Heavy Punch here really to get the cc crush counter you're not really going to use that i mean you could use it 
in neutral if you, want, if you wanted to, but this is actually minus four on bluff. So it's not something you really throw out too regularly, unless if you wanted to go for a frame trap, plus two button, and you bump a V trigger. But that makes things even more complicated then because of the fact that Ken rushes forward. So we're only really looking at DP punishes there. So going back to what I originally was on about. So it's basically where you punish a DP, um, the opponent's DP, you block a DP, but you're crush countering with either stand heavy kick or crouching heavy punch. I believe what I normally go for is, and I'll probably change this, is if I've got one bar of VX and I block a DP in the corner and I'm in V trigger. That's what I usually go for. But that probably is why well, it's not optimal. It's um it's very good damage and it's not the easiest of combos to do. Uh, but looking at things I think with much better options. As long as you get your timing down. As I mentioned before as well. That's definitely the easy one of the lot for spending one bar. So something to consider. I mean I just wanted to highlight it to you guys that that exists and be wary of the light punch DP damage if you do it too early. So that's the first thing. Um, mid scream. Uh, you see a lot of Ken players when they're in V trigger one and they get a crush counter and heavy punch, they do um, they do this and they've got no bar. Uh, not it's not a bad combo to do. But I think if you drop the light punch a two six seven compared to two six five, yeah. So when you add the light punch for Chin Buster, when you're in V Trigger, for some reason it scales pretty hard, it affects the total damage, you actually do less damage uh, if you add the light punch. Same goes for if you spend meter, so if you do um, light punch DP, EX DP, that didn't combo did it. So you see there, 3 2 2, and I added the light punch before Chin Buster, I don't add the light punch. Do more damage, yeah. 339 it does. So it's really good to pay attention to that. That when you're in V trigger one, adding the light punch does scale your damage more when you're doing these V trigger one combos, uh, no bar and with one bar of VX. It's not the same for non V trigger, non V trigger, you get more damage with the light punch. As you can see there, 256 with the light punch. 255 so it's really close but it's still less but in V trigger 1 I, I don't know why but it's more damage I'm guessing because the finisher does more that da more damage perhaps I don't know um, you get more damage by removing the light punch before you do chin buster but even still if you're in V trigger 1 and you want to spend no bar but, but you want to go max damage we just showed you this 267 was it? yeah 267 this is actually the most optimal combo 295. So what I'm doing there is I'm doing back medium punch like Iktatsu after the V skill, the heavy punch DP. Um, not many people know that, but that actually is his optimal one bar, I think. I don't think there's anything else he can do to better that, if I'm completely honest. Uh, I don't think he can get the, uh, the cool juggles with Tatsu. Uh, even then, it wouldn't, you wouldn't get a DP follow up anyway. Uh, yeah, you won't get a DP there, it's not going to work. Um, so that's another grunt to, to note if you're in V-Trigger 1. I kind of think because we spend more time outside of V-Trigger than in V-Trigger, we forget that combos are different, it can be better in V-Trigger 1. So again, it's good to learn these. Uh, the other one is Stand Heavy Kick Crush Counter. Something I found recently. I don't know if this, if this is a change in season four. I'm pretty sure this didn't work before. So if you do stand heavy kick crush counter mid screen and you confirm it into V skill, there's more chance to get medium kick tatsu in V trigger one than there is when you're outside of V trigger one. At this kind of range, tatsu connects. Whereas if I do that again outside of V trigger, it often whiffs. Go back to V trigger one again. 
So that's a common combo that is. Uh, the medium kick tattoo, XDP mid screen, 3 2 damage. Um, what I think changes with this, what I remember is, is you can juggle into heavy punch DP here. But I was pretty sure that heavy punch DP only hit once in that scenario. Only in V-Trigger 1. But when I do it now, if you watch, you get. How many hits is that? 1, 1, 2, 3. So that's 5 hits of heavy punch DP, I think, isn't it? No, 4. That's 4. Because it's an 8 hit combo. The Tatsu 3 hits. The stand heavy kicks 1 hit. So yeah, 4 hits of heavy punch DP. You can get that without spending any, any meter, which isn't bad. I mean, the damage isn't great, 260. But you don't have to go for XDP after it. Whereas, like, not in V-Trigger. I'll show you now. That doesn't connect at all. But it does in V-Trigger 1, which is interesting. Um, I mean, commonly, what we, what we would normally do is... We just do that. You're getting 60 damage more if you um, add the Tatsu and the Heavy Punch DP at the end of it. So that's worth considering. I'm pretty sure Heavy Punch DP only hit once, but maybe I'm wrong. As you can see, they're hitting three times. What's cool about that is, go back. So what you can do is now is, if you get the Medium Kick Tatsu and you got CA stocked, you can get two hits Heavy Punch DP into CA. Just to recap, Stand Heavy Kick Crush Counter, V Skill, Medium Kick Tatsu 3 hits, Heavy Punch DP 2 hits, and cancel the DP on the second hit into CA. 4 2 2 damage. That's not bad, man. That's not bad. What I commonly do is, if I'm in V Trigger 1, and I get that situation, is I normally do, do that. No DP. See, there's a bit more damage, or I would do this will be a lot less damage. Just do that. Pretty weak, to be honest. Yeah, not even 400. So that's good to consider that. I think that's a really good find. Um, if you didn't know as well, you can get EX Tatsu. I think it's consistent. 302 damage. Which I think is the same as the EXDP. So yeah, it's the same. Was the stun the same as the 440? Same stun as well. But what's good to note about that is EXDP will give you much better OK. The EX Tatsu, you can see that I don't think he gets any OK off the EX Tatsu in V Trigger 1. So it's probably best to go XDP. Um, they've both got good corner carry, to be honest. So um, yeah, I'm going to worry about that. You won't get him in the corner, but you're much closer to rushing. I think if you can, if you dash there, you're plus to pressure. So XDP is probably the better option there to go for. But the X Tatsu looks cool off the medium kick Tatsu. It's one of the only times you get medium kick Tatsu into EX Tatsu with Ken. Um, if I'm honest guys, I think that's it. I'm, I don't want to go on too much about it, but those are little things I found with V-Trigger 1 that could be useful to you if you're um, not optimizing your damage, if you're still going for your non-V-Trigger 1 combos while you're in V-Trigger, then definitely look at those options to uh, to better your damage. Um, if you've got anything yourself that you found in V-Trigger 1, just shout it in the comment section and uh, share the knowledge much appreciated but yeah any questions and queries you know the drill just ask away and hope you enjoyed the video cool i shall catch you later take care